on. Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there we got John Lewandowski. Hey. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, Toyo 2, West Hard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. While you're also here, please click that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notified every time we upload a video like that lamp. Folks, light it up. Uh, we sure had enough of that tonight, but yes, we'll get we into did. that in a second. Also, while you're on Facebook, please give us a like and a follow. Uh, so you guys get notified every time we post and upload. Also, we have a From Milwaukee to Nashville hockey group on Facebook where we talk about everything in the system and we'll discuss with you more in detail. Um, as of uh, this weekend, we're going to start doing uh, separate videos in there just to uh, a little get to know our fans kind of thing and let our fans kind of get to know us. Kind of a good thing. But um, with that being said, the Florida Everblades took on the Jacksonville Iceman. Yes, I didn't say the Jacksonville Tebos. If for those of you that were confused yesterday's video, Jacksonville is owned by two Jaguars players and Tim Tebow. So now you know. All right. Shots on goal in the first were 12 to 9 Jacksonville. Second period were 17 to 14 Jacksonville. Third period, 16 to 13 Florida. Shots in total, 42 to 39. That is a lot of shots. In a lot game. of shots for a hockey game. A lot of them. That's. Let's see, we got 70 plus. 81. Yeah, 81 shots in total. That's just nuts. <laughs> anyway, uh, so scoring in the first for Jacksonville was Michael Kim uh, with an. Uh, uh, assist by Abbott Gerdukis and Trevor Ham Hamilton. Uh, I didn't get to see that one. I was having issues with flow hockey. It was lagging uh, a bit there. And it wouldn't let me log in either. So I was just having a million and one issues there. So uh, um, <laughs> uh, second period, um, we had uh, a goal by Max Cook. He is a rookie uh, with an assist by uh, Michael Huntenbreaker, one of John and his wife's favorite players yep. uh, on this team, uh, and an assist by Miles Powell. Miles Powell has 10 points in the last uh, 12 games. Uh, yeah, have, Powell looked to be playing well tonight. Yeah. Um, then we have Michael uh, Smaluda. Smaluda. Uh, he scored at the 1438 mark with an assist by Christopher Brown and former Milwaukee Admiral Wacy Rabbit, current Jacksonville Iceman captain. Um, in that second period, we also had a good bout between Cody Soul and Travis Howe. If any relation to Gordy Howe, well, we'll find out eventually. I'll take a look later. Um, also, uh, to those wondering about the Arizona video, uh, the uh, Arizona uh, Tucson Roadrunners are uh, dead last in their division. Uh, scoring in the third at 12 seconds in, John McCarron, the captain, um, with an assist by Colby Sissons. Not sure if he's related to Colton at all, but we'll see. Um, and Logan Rowe. Logan Rowe has been on fire lately. Um, uh, defensively having uh, five points in the last four. He got another point tonight, so that adds uh, uh, six points in the last five. So um, and Then we have Miles Powell on the power play. And by the way, the last goal before that was, was also a power play goal. Uh, that was uh, Miles Powell's goal is at the 126 mark, uh, assisted by Joe Pendenza and the captain, John McCarron. Um, then scoring at the 219 mark was Luke Nogard. Um, uh, unassisted. Uh, then we have Blake Winicki uh, scoring uh, the uh, what presumably was the game winning um, with an assist by John McCarron. Um, then at the 11.07 mark, Christopher Brown scored with an assist by Brendan Miller and Riker Killen. What a name. <laughs> yeah. You, I'd expect him to be on Riker's Island. <laughs> A uh, little punny jokes here. We, you know, we're good for him. Mm -hmm. um, um, also, then scoring at the 13 18 mark was Pasquale Aquin with an assist by Brendan Warren. Brendan Warren um, had an okay night. 
Um, then scoring the empty netter was your captain, John McCarran. Um, over and all, uh, keeps the Everblades in first place. Uh, your li- referees were Logan Gruel and your linesman, no different than any other time we played, and Esturo, uh, Brady Fagan, and Killian McNamara. Uh, three stars of the game. Uh, third star of the game was... I'm trying not to butcher his name here. So we have Christopher Brown as the third star. Second star of the game was Miles Powell. First star of the game was John McCarron. McCarron had one, two, two goals and an assist. So um, in net tonight for the uh, Everblades was uh, recently uh, assigned Devin Cooley. Stopped to, uh, 38 of 42. Yeah. And in net for... The uh, Jacksonville Iceman was uh, Charles Dan- Charles Williams. Uh, Charles Williams stopped 33 of 39. Actually, 33 of 38 because the one was an EN that don't really count. Right. Um, he had a save percentage of 84.6. Um, that being said, uh, the Everblades currently in their division are in first place with 32 wins, 11 losses, no overtime losses, and two shootout losses. In the last 10, they're seven and three. Um, best in the division. Uh, by far, uh, Carolina is behind them by a bit with a 6-2, 1-1 one in their last 10, but they're in fifth place. So uh, the Indy Fuel are 4-5, four 4-5-1 and five, four, five and one in their last 10. They're dropping, uh, giving a nice cushion to Florida in the division. Um, league-wise, uh, your league-leading Florida Everblades, um, with a ever so surging Wichita Thunder who are seven and three in their last ten as well. Okay. Um Fort Wayne Comets, uh they are in third place in the league, uh, and then Indy Fuel at fourth. Um at this point the top four um in win percentage um in in each conference uh they get uh to go to the playoffs for the Kelly Cup. Uh, if, the, if the season were to end today, it would be in the Western Wichita, Fort Wayne, Allen Americans, and the Utah Grizzlies. Um, in the East, it would be the uh, Florida Everblades, Indy Fuel, Greenville Swamp Rabbits, and the Orlando Solar Bears. Um, it is a close-knit run between the Solar Bears and Stingrays. The Stingrays have not missed the playoffs in four years. Wow. The Everblades have only missed the playoffs five, one time in the last year. So, um, with that being said, um, the uh, AHL season will presumably wrap up before the Everblades season ends. So, you might see, right. some, see some AHL guys um, going down uh, considerably if, um, seeing it more so if the uh, Predators are uh, either in or out of the playoffs. We will uh, keep a close eye on that right now. They are currently right. in by two points. Um, you, we will be seeing you guys tomorrow for a round two of the Detroit Red Wings and the um, Nashville Predators. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, we have a double header. Uh, Saturday, uh, the Everblades take on Jacksonville and the Nashville Predators take on the Lightning. Sunday, the Nashville Predators take on Dallas and the Everblades take on Jacksonville. Then Tuesday, the Predators wrap up their series with the um, Lightning. Um, They will have no more games against the Lightning at that current moment. Um, So with that all being said, uh, we're looking forward to a long, busy weekend. Um, you're You're seeing a lot of you guys. Um, I'm not sure if tomorrow, uh, if Friday is not a double header, I wouldn't be a hundred percent surprised. Um, Friday, the Everblades and the Icemen, Saturday, the Everblades and the Icemen, Sunday, the Everblades and the Icemen, a three and three. And then they're off to Wednesday where they play Greenville. Yep. 
Um, there is a small chance that I convince myself to go to the uh, Florida Everblades Indy Fuel game in Indy. I am trying to convince myself out of it at the current moment, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I would much rather go to Florida. <laughs> right. But we'll be seeing you guys soon. Um, I'm hoping to take a trip down to Florida and Nashville next season. So it is something that is on my list of things to do. Thank you, Tommy and Susan, who are loyal Everblades followers. Thank you guys so much for watching over there at Facebook. Um, we'll be seeing you guys soon. I'll talk to you guys later. This has been From Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker. Please don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe and click that bell on YouTube. See y'all.